Okay, so I'm here with my husband tonight because I have to give you an update. I was totally supposed to make a different video today and instead we spent the entire day house hunting, which came out of nowhere. So... It's my fault. Why did I not make a video today? Why did I get completely skipped and we spent the day adventuring? We love to go on Redfin and just dream of houses we may want to own one day. It's like our date night activity. And Jenny, whenever we do this, she spends all this time saying, oh, this is what I would do to it. This is what I would do to it. And I think it's her dream to own one of every house. Mm -hmm. So it's not very practical living in San Diego, but I do love every style of house. I'd love to design and make over every style of house. And so we're in a fortunate situation where we were looking to do some real estate investing and we started looking originally at an off-grid place a while ago. Yeah, so actually the reason I started the channel is because I had kind of some projects coming up that I was super excited to share and a lot of people were asking about it that like what we were getting ready to do and they, they were interested in doing similar things. A lot of um, connections and friends we had and so I said, you know, I'll, I'll start a channel and we had talked about doing this off-grid property and we went through the motions. We checked out a lot of different areas for property. We live in Southern for California. For property, we mean land, as in yes. we would start fresh with a piece of land and then build something that would be super cool. Yeah, um, I was looking, I definitely, you see from my master bedroom, I love Scandinavian design and I had seen a lot of these Scandinavian style, very small, maybe one to two bedroom cabin style places, kind of secluded in the middle of nowhere. And so we got really excited thinking about this could be a rental property, could be somewhere we take the boys as they grow up, be in nature, outdoors. And so we kind of went through the motions. We looked at places and what happened? Well, it turns out that doing that is considered high risk. So a bank won't loan you any money for it. And it's and, and actually, yeah, like where we live in Southern California, the land, there's a few things. One, it's not exactly the idyllic kind of area we wanted. I grew up in Oregon, so I'm used to trees. Like, yeah. to me, when I think of outdoors, I think of like a little running creek behind your house and really big trees. And so when I was daydreaming about having an off-grid property or somewhere that we would go to or even put on Airbnb as vacation rental, I pictured that. And we started hunting around Southern California and it looked pretty much like down the street at, you know, somewhere that we would hike around our house. It was really deserty, yeah. a little bit of boulders, but mostly brush. And one of the specific areas we were looking at was only 37 miles from here. And it has a little small quaint town attached to it. Um, it's Julian, California. It has a vineyard nearby. And so it kind of, you know, it was a good, happy medium. It wasn't going to be too far. We could go take care of the rental for Airbnb. But then when we got there, it was we found out it was devastated by a fire in 2003. And so every property we looked at, whether it was one acre, six acres, 10 acres, it had like one standalone cedar tree and the rest yeah, was Yeah, I was crushed. just really disappointed. So the areas that, that are still like that in California, as you may uh, not be surprised by, are completely overrun with people because yeah. there are so many people here. So, so you have a hard, like it would be Big Bear, um, Lake Arrowhead area. And so you have a hard time getting a real off-grid, secluded type of feeling. So that, that we kind of went that route first. That was just recently, maybe a few weeks back, that we kind of started to change course a little bit. And then we came, this kind of came out of nowhere. So, okay, so one of the things we need for our business, for my business making videos and her business making videos. If you don't know, Ben Ben is the one who convinced me to make a channel. He has his own channel. It's called Ben Sol, is it just Ben Solinger? Just my name, yeah. It used to be Teslanomics where he talked all data on owning a Tesla and sustainability and stuff. And now it's just his name back to so, so I need a place to put cars, to film, et cetera. So does Jenny to design, to you know take furniture she makes, whatever kind of project she's working on and, and show it off, do that. So it turns out that we could actually rent a house, or I'm sorry, buy a house and then rent it to our business to make videos with. So we're using it for business purposes only. We can't like live there and call it a business expense, but yeah. if it's legit, like a podcast room, two different film rooms, you know, those are your three bedrooms, common areas, etc., then it's totally legit. So we could actually buy a home and rent it to our business to make videos with, which would serve both of our needs. So then we took the budget that we spend on studios. So we both actually have announcement in a couple weeks, but 
he moved home, so we took his budget from the studio he used to spend, and then we took the budget we had for this rental property, and it brought up different areas. It brought up different properties that we had not seen before because we'd already prior looked into San Diego. And if you live anywhere in Southern California, you live in one of these cities, you know, like it's really hard to buy um, rental properties. It's really hard to buy even a home down here. It's expensive. It's Su it comes down it's there. super <laughs> expensive and you get like crappy, tiny little places. So, but if we could rent it to our own business, well, then the, we remove the risk of well, having it, it not be rented. It made the budget change too. Cause yeah. if you remember originally the budget was different because it wasn't going to be, so now it could possibly be studio. a lot more. Yeah. yeah. So originally when you're doing land, and the bank won't loan you any money for land so, so you have, have to little... pay cash yeah so we have saved up over the years but it wasn't nearly enough to buy a airbnb type place in san diego but if we can do this you know work it this other way it makes sense so today or i think just a couple of days ago this i think dawned on me i was going to the gym and then last night we were up all night just looking at places you know when you just get and like today it was just course. like yeah it's, it's like a bolt of lightning just struck yeah. and all of a sudden we're just on a path so today was that day looking at houses yeah we started out just like oh let's go for a small hike and we're like let's drive that neighborhood where the house that i fell in love with last night had this beehive it was a spanish style house a really amazing price point for the area and it was fix fixer upper to the point where i would be happy and you'd be okay like, with it it had i need a garage to put cars in so it had a garage it had a tree-lined street and it wasn't, you know, falling down decrepit, which is yeah. what she would prefer. I love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we could still use it functionally. Yeah. Um, so we kind of just, you know, went off route today and went in that area. It was a little bit removed from town. And it was just a total, we live right pretty much in the middle of the city. As you can hear from all the cars driving by, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, it's very busy sound. And so it just felt so different, something we'd never considered. And so then all of a sudden we were just like, Next thing we know, we're on the phone with a real estate agent. We have like three tours lined up. We basically, in our price range, went and saw everything in that area today. And there was definitely probably one contender out of the four. Unfortunately, the one I fell in love with last night that I dreamed about all night long, how I would do it. Gone. They had like long gone. 15 offers on it. I knew they would. 60 I, people in the past two days came by. Yeah, it was, they priced it really low. Actually, our real estate agent said for sure something was wrong with it. Because um, they, they listed it as is, which means right. an inspector says, "Hey, there's something terribly wrong." You're like, eh, "We even tried to just, as is." We even tried to just go in and see it and view it because I was like, "Well, at least I'll get it out of my head if I smell like some, you know, awful mildew smell or something." I'll be like, "Oh, you're right, it wasn't right," but I, it's still kind of in the back of my head. <laughs> it was a beautiful. It looked place, beautiful in the seven pictures. Yeah. Uh, do we want to talk about the place we did find that we're as a contender? Or I do mean, you want to save that? I, you know, it's nothing's set in stone i just wanted to jump on here i didn't want to i really excited about my new channel and i have so much more to share and i just didn't want to leave you guys hanging this week after i just took you on like basically my seven weeks i did with my master bedroom redesign but to come for the channel as i plan to share just stuff that's kind of going on with design and, and things that we do as far as i don't i don't know i guess with the home stuff but Basically everything that Jenny is into already, she's been redesigning and fixing this house for seven years, almost eight years now. So empty. And, and so it's just time <laughs> to kick her out of the house, yes. give her a new space. So there's a lot more fun stuff in that realm coming. Yes, there is something coming I'll announce soon, but I think that's, that's good for today. I, we didn't make an offer or anything and um, we'll Stay kinda... tuned because we might. Yeah, we'll see where that goes. I'll be sure to share it.